Good evening. And I'll do a prayer video tomorrow. Like I said, I wanted to work for a little bit. After going to the land, I had more activity. Right that didn't last so long. But, which point of this? You know, we can have something like something go whacked out and wrong. And I've said this before. And I'll say it again. Yeah, I know my voice sounds a little whacked out. Whatever that I've had more, he's got. So it ain't bronchitis, because that's not contagious. But, uh, but and I'm going to just use me as an example, so please understand that's all it is. They told me you got stage, well, sorry, stage two, but then we got we got everything going on stage three, prostate cancer. And I was just talking to somebody tonight at Walmart about it, and I told them, as sure as you hear my voice right now, I swear I heard that voice in. I didn't hear no bell one more round. I live by that. Now, I can gladly, easily post the results for me in today's MRI, which I, 99% of it I already know. If I want to be honest, 99% of it I've known for literally decades. My back and neck are both a ha-ha moment. But you know what? I'm looking, I'm looking at it this way. Oh, Satan tried to play mind games today with me. Oh, let me tell you. He didn't like the result, but he tried. So they say something's wrong. But look at it this way. What they say and what God says is not going to be. And nope, it's the same thing. It really ain't. And I've been dealing with his back pain for. Oof. Uh, give me a minute, I'll think, what a year. When did I drive for born? 1992 uh, and 3. That's how long it's been. <laughs> but you know what? And I told Montana this tonight, today on the phone, or text message rather. And you gotta understand, if you knew, if you knew me personally, you'd understand with this. I told him, I said, I'll still outpower anybody with the exception of a couple. And that'd be my granddaughter Lane, who will be three in next month. My grandson Minmon, or the twin, my twin grandsons Max and Alex. Nope. Grandpa just lost on that one. My point behind that, people, is real simple. So what? They say something's going on. Yeah. The Trucking turns out in 50 cents, won't get you a 10 cent cup of coffee. Give it all to God, let him deal with it. You know, I've got a bro, my oldest brother is 60, I think. And he's almost totally deaf because of a doctor who screwed up. Back, I don't even think I was born. From what I've been told, the doctor did surgery drunk. Do I believe it? Yeah, because I've seen a doctor who don't always like drunk, along with somebody else. But, you know what? And I told him, told him this. Give it to God, let God deal with it. He did, and I've got two hearing aids that are all Bluetooth and all this fangled angle stuff. And no matter what we encounter in life, give it over to God. That's just why 
like before I left the house, I told Lawrence, I thought my jeans were causing the problems. I get cold burning sensation right down my upper legs within a matter of minutes of standing. Been that way for a while. I just said, no, I thought it wasn't that. That was the only thing new on the MRI part. Otherwise, I already knew everything else. I just want an update. The last MRI I had was 2004, 2005. Last one. I was born out of a chiropractor back in the 90s. I did x rays. So. But no matter what we go through, give it to God because he's, he's got it all. He's got the whole planet Earth in the palm of his hands. Our names are written and engraved in his hands if you read the Bible. So no matter what we go through, just give it to God let him deal with it. It's his problem to deal with. Not yours, not mine, nobody's. Let him deal with it. I don't know about you, but I got better things to do than worry about silliness. And I'm saying this part is a joke, but part of what I'm playing with, worrying about is not health problems. It's like next year, I'm Lord and I getting crap out of Dodge. I know we're supposed to go back up north. Honestly, I don't plan to stick around the house much at all the next spring and summer. Lord willing, I'm going to be hitting the road. This summer got messed up. No, well, God had it under control. He didn't want us to go yet. But just give it all to God and let him deal with it. I'm going to go pick up the monster, or turd, or half plant munchkin, whatever I feel like calling her tonight. Should be spoiled brat, because she really is, but she's also, hard. for 22 years old, she's an awesome kid. But I will not tell her that. I do once in a very blue moon, and she says, I know. Y'all have a great night. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Remember, give it to God. Let him deal with it. No matter what it is. He's got the number of hairs on your head counted. He can handle everything else. All right. Love you. God bless. Bye.